Yo, what's up guys, it's Kshadraz Ganzor, and today I'm bringing you a commentary. I'm going to be talking about my experience at the gaming convention I went to last weekend. It was pretty sick, there was some video game section, which was about a third of the area, and then there was also the nerdier things like uh, board games, there was some other stuff, there was booths for... Uh, board games and all that stuff. They had card playing and stuff. Um, I guess first I'll talk about what it was like last year because I also went last year. I thought last year was uh, more fun because I was actually in the competition. I'll get into the second, I guess, story because that uh, pissed me off quite a bit. So anyway, the gaming convention, it's uh, near me, probably 30 minutes away. It's it's pretty good for uh, an average town usually they're bigger and like more more popular places like obviously Los Angeles there's the big ones New York but anyway this gaming convention it had video games the competition I was in was for Modern Warfare 3 it was the free-for-all and the 2v2 I got up to fourth place in the 2v2 almost got some a war uh, I guess I got, almost got, um, I almost won some stuff, let's say that, I can't find the word. And for the 2v2, I got in, we, we completely, like, got destroyed, we got out the first match that we played, we basically shit the bricks there. But anyway, it was really fun, me and my friend, we were walking around, looking at the booths, there were super nerds there. And there were some hot chicks there with their uh, setup. You know, they dress up and that stuff. There was also some sick people this year. There was a guy that dressed up as Halo. I'll be putting some pictures at the end of the video and sort of have a couple of videos that I recorded and talk about them. But that's enough about last year. It was fun and all. And we got to get like wear gunner optics, all the good headsets. There were compute uh, monitors set up all around, like probably six, six on the back and then six on the other side, back to back, and it just looks sick. If you were there, you would love it. So this year, I'll talk about the story about how I couldn't do the competition because that's what pissed me off the most. Basically, what happened was me and my I picked a friend. He was really good. And we decided to go, and then I got a job, actually, on Friday, last Friday, I got a job, which I'm really excited about. I can finally get lots of money, buy stuff for my dirt bike, and some gaming stuff. And so anyway, I got a job then. My first work day was on Friday, and my friend texted me at 10 o'clock at night saying that he couldn't go. So I was really pissed off about that because the free-for-all tournament was at 10 a.m. in the morning, so... That sort of sucked. So when I woke up the next morning, I was trying to decide whether I should just go on my own and do the tournament or if I should just not go or maybe wait until later on and see if I can find a friend just to go check it out because it was still sick. So anyway, after my friend canceled it out on me, I was trying to decide whether to go or not. And I decided I would go. I got all ready. I got my mom ready to go. We were about to go out the door and I was like, Alright, I'll just go check what prizes I get and how much it costs to get in and everything. And then at the last second, I noticed that it said Sunday instead of Saturday. So that whole time, it was not even worth it. I got the dates mixed up, even though I was all ready to go. And so I was just like, oh, fuck. And that really sucked. So I got my friend, another friend to go today. Um, I meant, sorry about that. So I was really pissed off. And then later on in the day, I found out that I f am working on Sunday, my second time on work, so I couldn't just say I can't go to work and do the competition. And that really pissed me off because, I mean, I couldn't do the competition. I definitely had a feeling I was going to win. Basically, you won Gunner Optics, Astro 40s and some other gear by Astro. So I decided that... I might as well go with someone else. I tried to find someone and I got a friend to go. We went for probably what was it? We went for about five hours, which was actually maybe no, around five hours, which was 
plenty of time, especially because there was no competition. And when we got there though, we found out that it actually costed $28 to get in just for the day, which was definitely not worth it if I wasn't doing competition. But I just, we decided to go anyway, and it was kind of worth it, but not really for the price and not doing the competition. But inside of the gaming convention, it was really sick. Uh, the only thing though was there was crazy nerds everywhere. Uh, they actually looked really funny, some of them. And later on, I counted all the TVs in the gaming section because there looked like there was a lot. And there was 35 TVs in one section. About 10 of them were big TVs, uh, like 42 inches. And then all the rest were like 24, 27 inches for the gaming event. That day there was the Halo free-for-all and then the Halo 2v2, but I couldn't do that because I didn't have an Xbox and I did not play Halo so I would have shit the bed there. But then there was also the area with the competition that had Starcraft, uh, League of Legends, all those nerdier games and those TVs, or they had computers there, everyone had to bring their own and there had to be around 70 computers. It was insane. So altogether there were a hundred TVs or more or less in that area which was insane but it was sick. Also <coughs> there was um, a section it had about 10 TVs and people were playing there. They all had headsets all the TVs except for maybe five of them. Actually no probably about 10 of them but you could actually borrow games. They had a booth set up with a bunch of games for Xbox and PS3. You could play your favorite games or some games you've never played. I played Fear 2 because I remember playing the demo like a long time ago and it was freaking scary so I did that and my friend played Assassin's Creed 3 we had um, a little bit of fun there and then there was also there was some retro games like Duck Hunt, Super, uh, Super Mario or just Mario whatever it's called they had what else they had Link they had the really old Link and then they had the really ancient Link <coughs> they also had Halo 4 um, basically that was the main thing that was set up there and then there was the section where you could borrow games. They also had the Wii U which was really sick, I got to check that out and it looks good but I wouldn't really bother with it, it looks sort of pointless but it is sick. Also they had auction, most of the stuff was just like um, board game stuff and all that. They had the competition, it was sponsored by Gunner Optics, which is pretty sick. They also had the Astro 840 um, people there. They were sponsoring it, and Mad Cats were sponsoring it. So those are three pretty big, really big companies, which is great for the competition. They had um, lots of awards giving away for the competitions, and I forgot to tell you, all day long, they had competitions starting from Friday night, non-stop 24 hours a day, all the way until Sunday night. So it was insane. There were competitions going on around 4 a.m. and stuff. Um, also, one thing that was happening was when we walked into the competition, there was a girl. She was getting like makeup done. This was around 1 o'clock and um, 1 p.m. And she was getting makeup done. She, I guess she had like an orc face, whatever you call those. And when we were leaving, she was still having her makeup done. And that was around 7 o'clock. So she was standing there the whole time getting her makeup done. So she obviously, she must have, she had to have been staying there overnight and stuff because it's just not worth it all that time so yeah guys hope you enjoyed the commentary just telling you guys a bit about the competition and gaming convention i'll be putting up some videos at the end right here and some pictures and i just want to tell you guys one last thing really quickly here i'm going to be doing the my main videos on wednesdays like commentaries and stuff and then maybe emblem tutorials and stuff on the weekend so a bit less important stuff on the weekends so I'll be doing two videos now a week and hope you enjoyed it. I'll be doing Quest to Kill the Dragon this weekend. This video will be up on Wednesday. <coughs> Sorry about that. Thursday. I upload them at Wednesday night. But yeah, you get the idea. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out. And guys, as you can see here, these are some characters that were there. Also, the booth and some board games. So here we go into the videos that I was going to show you before. So guys, in these quick clips here, all I really have for you 
is the area where the gaming competition was for the free for all in 2v2 <coughs> and then there's also the computers with like 70 of them and the big live screen commentator and then me and my friend are just screwing around with the duck hunt which is pretty fun and old retro that I was talking about and I forgot to tell you guys one thing that was really really funny they did a Gangnam style dance off and when they all the nerds went up there with their like awkward stance you know how nerds are it was so hilarious and then when to watch them dance it was so funny there was also one fat guy who wasn't even like, dancing like open Gangnam style he was doing his own thing and it was the funniest thing to watch but anyway guys hope you enjoyed Subscribe, motherfucker. Yeah.